Hey guys, Haley Lane, aka Key Black, here with another episode of Off the Cuff, and today I want to talk to you guys about Undertale. It's one of those games that kind of burst onto the scene and took everybody by storm in like the matter of a like a single month. Um, my experience with Undertale is I was on Tumblr at the time, and I was very you know I was familiar with Homestuck. Uh, it's one of those things that at that time, at the peak of its popularity, you really couldn't avoid it. But I wasn't really personally interested in it, and I knew that Toby Fox had worked on Homestuck, so when I saw Undertale gaining popularity, I just was like, eh, okay, you know, happy for those people, but no thanks, I'm not all that interested in it myself. It took a friend gifting me the game for me to actually be like, all right, fine, I'll play it. You know, Paul messages me going like, dude, I know you're not, you're not really into this kind of thing, but <laughs> you really gotta check this game out. Before I even cracked open the game, I had seen a couple of things trickle onto my Tumblr timeline. One of them was a comic where uh, it's in the genocide route where Alphys is freaking out because the human's tearing through everybody in the underground, and Flowey appears to her with an idea to inject Undyne's remains with more determination to sick her back on the human. You know, I see this comic and I'm like, I have absolutely no context for this, but I'm starting to get kind of curious about what the hell is Undertale about. <laughs> if anybody in the comments section knows who the person is who drew that comic, please let me know because I've forgotten. It's It's been years since I saw it. But so I start playing Undertale and I do so on stream at first. You guys know me, I'm an extreme ham when it comes to camera being on and so so I was definitely overplaying my reactions to the game. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for that reason, um, they're no longer available online and I don't have any copies of it on my computer. But I did stream the game from the beginning all the way up through the Undyne fight and I believe into the Metaton fight. And I had a serious blast with this game. I was completely floored and taken by surprise by the quality of the writing and the experience. You know, I had never played Earthbound or The Legend of Zelda or Final Fantasy or really any of the games that seems to have been influences on this game. And you guys already know, I'm not really an RPG kind of player, so I was surprised by how much I really enjoyed Undertale. You know, in hindsight, Undertale's not really very much of an RPG-style game as the way that we know RPG style games, or at least the way that I know them, there's like next to no grinding in Undertale unless you play it in a very specific way. And so I was delighted not only by the ease with which I was able to get from point A to point B in the story of the game without any hesitation, but also with just how charming the characters were written. There's not really a single character in the game that you can dislike completely. You know, I had my preferences and I was like, mm, I don't trust that character, but in the actual gameplay, you get really attached to them. <laughs> in particular, this was at the height of my I love any and all skeletons phase, and so I was very happy by the chance to date Papyrus <laughs> and extremely disappointed when he rejects you at the end of that date. But you know, I got his phone number, so I got to talk, talk with him the rest of the game too, so not a complete loss. But the reason I stopped streaming the game around Metaton was it wasn't because I lost interest in the game, it was the exact opposite. I had finished the stream for the day, this was while I was in college, and I, you know, thanked everybody for coming to watch it, it's just a lot of fun. And then I sat at my computer going, I'm not done. I, I want to keep going. <laughs> And I had been on my first playthrough of the pacifist route at that point. I think somebody had tipped me off or had, I had read somewhere that you don't have to kill people in this game, hint, hint, wink, wink. And so by the time I got to Asgore, I was adamantly against even touching the attack button. So much so that I, I, I didn't even know what the attack button looked like. I think I died to Asgore like 17 times or something crazy like that before my roommate finally turns to me and goes, Haley, I think this might be the one time you have to attack somebody. <laughs> and I go, no! Fine! <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have the butterscotch pie at that point. I had eaten that along with a spider donut during the Muffet fight, I think. Somebody had tipped me off that if you eat one of the, uh, the spider products during the Muffet fight, you can actually uh, avoid most of that encounter. I didn't realize it meant skipping the entire thing. But with Asgore, I, I couldn't... I had such a hard time with that fight, not only because, you know, it's difficult, but because I, I didn't want to hurt the guy. And... There have been very few other instances in video games where I've been as angry at a character as I was at Flowey when he reappeared to land the finishing blow on Asgore just as we're about to have a conversation and be like, hey, can we not fight? I'm looking at my screen going, Flowey! <laughs> that first battle with like Omega Flowey, I think is what it's called, is uh, 
Oh. <laughs> but I, after, you know, several, several, several tries and finally getting through that one, I was... I, I was so... Like so into the game that when he reappears and says that there might be another ending you could get, I was like, no shit. And so on the spot, I just kept going. I went back, reloaded my save file, went back in and did the true pacifist ending. And I've mentioned before that I'm not a horror game player. Um, this was before Bendy and the Ink Machine, of course, so that I really hadn't played any horror games aside from a single attempted foray into amnesia, which was very ill-fated. The true lab section of the true pacifist route in Undertale. I remember being on the edge of my seat playing through that with my roommate sitting on her bed and like watching intensely from behind going, and we, both of us were just like, oh my God, <laughs> this, is, this is terrifying. And we, we get to the VHS room where you learn what happened between Azriel and the original fallen human. And then shortly after that, you get on the elevator and you hear a voice that you've never heard before. And it brings you directly to Asgore's stage. If you can picture that meme of the caveman sponge Bob going, huh, that, that was me. <laughs> that final battle with Azriel um, brought me to tears. You know, that, that may not sound like a lot because I've mentioned the similar kind of thing happening, but really it's because I'm cherry picking some of the best experiences I've had with stories and games and media in general. Undertale, I had never played a game that had affected me as deeply as Undertale had at that point. Like, yeah, Ghost Trick had affected me pretty deeply, but Undertale was a whole different experience. And I mentioned, like, I never got to record my reaction to the ending, and this is why I'm really glad I didn't, because I was so sucked into playing this game, I, I don't think that there's any way to describe the, like, the myriad of feelings um, that I was going through while going through the ending there. Like, I was bawling <laughs> by the end of that battle. And I remember finally finishing the game and, uh, turning it off and just kind of closing my computer and going, Oh my god. <laughs> it took me a while to, to learn that if you boot it back up, Flowey asks you not to play the game again, because I didn't even want to. I was like, I'm done. That's that's it. That's that's the end of my playthrough with Undertale. I can't reopen that game. It didn't even occur to me until I started going, but I want to see what other people's experiences are with it. And oh my gosh, this is about when I got curious enough to discover that uh, there are other ways to play through Undertale. And I'm going to save the discussion of that for another off the cuff, guys. Thanks so much for listening and for watching, and I'll see you next time.